I'm Hamilton van Breda. I'm Head of Retail Sales at Prudential Investment Managers and I am going to talk to you about RAND volatility and the impact that has on consumers today. So currencies, um, as, we, as we all know, um, is a very, very volatile um, asset class and it's really influenced by supply and demand factors. You know, if you mo demand more of something, the price of that, of that particular asset or the currency is going to go up. But there are both external and also internal factors that influences the volatility of currency. So let's just start with uh, some of the external factors. We know that, that Trump likes to tweet and when he tweets uh, then the RAND seems to move quite dramatically and unfortunately that has an impact on uh, South African consumers. The others, uh, so we've got these trade wars in uh, between the US and China, we've got uh, Boris trying to hold his position um, in the UK, you know, you've got Brexit issues, but when this all happens it has a very negative impact on emerging markets and unfortunately South Africa is, is an emerging market so you tend to see massive currency uh, fluctuations. Uh, a number of years ago in 2017, December, over one weekend we had uh, three pr um, finance ministers and the impact of that was that the RAND depreciated quite dramatically in a space of 24 hours to 48 hours and that again leaves foreign investors with some uncertainty as to who the finance minister uh, is in South Africa and of course what happens, the RAND uh, starts to depreciate quite dramatically. When the RAND depreciates, it has a negative impact on the consumer. So I'm going to try and demonstrate that. There are a number of tools that asset managers and investors um, use to determine the value of the RAND. One is the real effective exchange rate of the RAND, uh, really looking at the basket of goods um, of South Africa and you're comparing it to the same basket in, say, the States. And you look at the valuation of the two baskets and the difference is effectively uh, the difference between the currencies, the value of the currencies. So you can determine the value of the currency using things like the real effective exchange rate of the RAND or you can use something similar which is the purchasing power parity. Another tool that some people do use or commonly use is what we call the, the Big Mac index. Not really that useful. If you look at the cost of a Big Mac today relative to what it costs say in the States, then you should see that the RAND to the dollar should roughly about six to the dollar. So I don't think in our lifetime we're likely to see uh, the RAND at six to the dollar. But what happens is when you see the RAND depreciate quite dramatically, it means effectively that we have to, the cost of our imports go up. So if you give an example of that, so for instance the oil price uh, goes up, the RAND depreciates, the cost of, of buying oil goes up, that translates into more expensive fuel, um, that translates into the cost of, of food that has been distributed and if it, at the end of the day it's really inflation that goes up. You can protect yourself by virtue of the fact that you have an opportunity to invest in dollar denominated global funds or you can take the option of investing into RAND feeder funds that feed into those global funds. So you can hedge your bets against currency fluctuations, volatilities, uncertainty and thereby uh, effectively making some money. So that's not the only way that you can hedge your, hedge your bets or hedge uh, the, these currency fluctuations because in any equity portfolio or in any balanced portfolio there is a, a very large exposure to our equity listed stocks. If you look at just the All Share Index, 60 to 70 percent of the earnings that is derived on the index is derived from abroad. In other words, you're earning hard currency. So what happens is when the RAND depreciates, when you convert those, those earnings into RAND, um, it, has a, a, it, it acts as a hedge uh, against any sort of RAND depreciation. So it's not always doom and gloom if you can't invest 
into rand feeder funds or global dollar denominated or, or sterling denominated funds um, just by having an exposure to a, a pure equity investment or a balance fund will, will also give you a hedge against uh, sudden and massive um, RAND depreciation. Thank you very much for, for, for listening to me. I hope you found that informative. But if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact our client services centre, uh, Matt Prudential, or speak to your nearest financial advisor. Thank you.